We are speaking with the author, professor, and decision scientist Nika Kabiri in Seattle, and she invites your dilemma and offers useful advice at yournextdecision.com. Uh, Nika, argument seems to have displaced baseball as our national pastime. Polls tell us that many Republicans still think Donald Trump was reelected. Uh, almost 60 years later, conspiracy theorists are muttering about who was lurking on the grassy knoll. And uh, shortly will mark 20 years since 9-11. Uh, deniers uh, still tell us the Twin Towers crashes were as fake as the moon landing. Now anti-vaxxers are dug in. Is there any hope of dissuading the misinformed? Human beings are very much prone to what's called confirmation bias. We hold very firmly to our beliefs. I mean, we make decisions based on our beliefs. And, you know, if we've made a ton of decisions already around a certain set of um, beliefs, then it's going to be really hard to abandon them. Somebody comes along and gives you facts that are accurate, but not really aligned with what you already believe. Most of us are probably going to believe what we hear, even though it's truth. And unfortunately, some of us are less inclined to believe um, con uh, conflicting information or information that contradicts what we already believe than others. And so it's, it's really not surprising. And I'm sure some of them will hold out for a very long time, if, if not forever, unfortunately. The way to deal with somebody who is dug in is not necessarily by citing facts, correct? Correct, correct. And this happens on social media all the time, and that's why people get very frustrated trying to persuade other, other people on social media. We often go head to head on facts. Um, if you already don't believe facts, certain facts, and somebody else coming along and restating them isn't really going to do much good. Storytelling, on the other hand, is very powerful. Facts are harder to remember. They're harder to process. They're not emotionally compelling. Stories are very emotionally compelling. So to persuade others, really, you know, tell more stories. Teaching, uh, as you do at the university level, you walk among the young. Is there a demographic to the unreasonable uh, fact challenged dug in? Or is this something that can afflict uh, the closed minded of any age? I don't think there's a demographic difference between people who are, you know, prone to bias or not. I think it's more. Um, education, thinking about the world probabilistically rather than in black and white, um, really kind of challenging your own understanding of things and being a little bit less confident about what you think you know. Dr. Nika Kabiri, yournextdecision.com.